Hey guys, Sean B here. Today we're doing some RTA because I run up all my strong RTA unit that I used in the previous season to get Guardian, like the slow Okeanos with Bellinus, Savannah, Jogan, Tiana, all that good stuff. And we'll be doing some RTA in the normal specially. So I've been doing quite a number of wings as you can see right here. And I gotta say, I'm very afraid for the future of my team or just slow team in general because of one new addition to the meta and that is going to be the Water Ryu or I think the Water Striker. He is a speed lead that has AoE strip and is a water element. So it's like a Chiwu. If you have Chiwu and Water Ryu, you have double speed lead, double AOE strip, and you can pick whatever you want in the other three slot. And they are all gonna do really, really well if you speed tune your team and you have strong unit like Gany, Hathor, Chung Pung, um, Beast Riders, stuff that control enemy AOE, and that's gonna do really, really well. So this guy is a turn two player. So this is another strong way to do RTA nowadays. So there are two ways to play RTA and the better way is usually going first, stripping and destroying the enemy team, which is AOE control. And water you fit in the meta really, really, really well. And that just destroy the whole of people who are trying to go turn two with wilderness because if they can AOE strip you, your wheel runes doesn't really matter that much and it goes back to the competition to be having the speed lead and also the correct unit the the speed on your unit that's gonna make the biggest difference okay hopefully we don't get aoe stunned by the juno here oh this is gonna be rough ah oh, immediately lost <laughs> i think the game is pretty much over i'm pretty sure the game is pretty much over Okay, unless we get some good violent proc here. Nice strip. Okay, I need one of these units to violent proc. Or else we... Oh my god, Savannah land nothing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We got some good juicy proc here. Hopefully we get some good defense break. Okay, we got some good defense break. Oh, but turn 2 player is gonna have a chance to violent proc. Like what they call turn 2 luck sacking. But... What else do I, can I do here? Because this is the only thing I can do. That is to hope that I have a chance to come back from Violent Procs and my Wilderness. Because without Speed Lead, without um, just crazy unit like Chiu, Chang Fan, and Water Ryu, you're gonna be in a bad spot in the season. I've been playing against so many of that kind of unit and it's, it's just really, really scary. There's, there's just no way. If they go in with double strip and they land everything. It's just impossible to come back from that. And if you don't have the unit to take away from them, then you'll be in some trouble as well. Okay, this Artemio is insane. That guy right there with Artemio and Molly is a very good way to pick against the turn one player because these units will not die easily and they have a lot of sustain, a lot of resistance, so they can sort of counter the double strip triple control meta and Gany Hathor is the thing of the past nowadays they cleave you with AoE damage and control at the same time sort of the best cleave pretty much because the normal cleave have a lot of counter to that Foxy probably know the best let's see what he want to do so Chi Wu Chang Pang is literally the way to play if you want to go turn one if you want to go turn two, you go with Molly and LD unit or Molly, Juno, and win Monkey King and Vigor. That's how you take turn two. My account is once again stuck in the middle. Not sure what to do, but I'm going to ban a Chiu, leave the Chang Pung in, pick the Savannah, and take the Vert for the counter. Chang Pung doesn't have the maximum chance to strip, so that's my only way to survive this. If I ban the Nephthys, then Chiu strip, Chang Pung push back, I also lose. So he take the vert, and the only thing I have in my hand right now is a quick prayer. I'm just very nervous for the upcoming season because I'm, I'm not sure how to play. <laughs> I'm just gonna try and do this again because 
Oh, he missed. So Chang Peng is not a very good stripper, but Water Ryu strip really consistently. I fought a couple and they always take Wilun off my entire team. That is very scary. But Chang Peng on the other hand, he is more or less balanced in the strip, but if Chang Peng strip and then violent proc into the AoE pushback, it can almost end the game as well. So a very, very incredible unit, but lucky for us, we're not gonna lose that quickly because we have a chance to come back here, but the, oh, the Barbara's gonna destroy my, ah, I can't take a turn. I need to take a turn, but I can't take a turn bomb. Oh, imagine I push the bomb back. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much lost here. Unless I proc some violent. Unless I proc some violent, but oh boy. Oh boy, Savannah's the only one left. And GG. <laughs> ah, nothing much I can do. That team is just really, really strong. It has everything it needs. The double speed lead, the double strip, and a lot of damage and control in between. So another stripper, Chung Pung, Chi Wu. Like, you see there's a lot because this is the meta. And it is very easy to learn what the meta is by just watching the replay system. Okay, I'm going to go with the vert to counter the Chung Pung again. And for the last pick, oh my god, what do I do? Just, just go business. Okay. So you go to the replay section or you go to, let's say, World Championship matches, you will notice this like everywhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. It is really hard. It is really, really hard. And I don't really want to switch my gameplay to first pick Wind Monkey King and then go with Velaju and Vigor and go with like double immunity because the game is super long and you're still subjected to RNG and it's just painful to do RTA with. Okay, here's the Chung Pung. He land on two unit and I think I'm dead. And this gonna land on the third one. And that's it. Like if you have this kind of setup, you're gonna climb ranks very, very quickly. And you have my kind of setup. Oh tough <laughs> these are the matches that i should win you know oh that's a nyx right there okay and a molly so right there he doesn't pick double immunity i can bend the front and go in with another unit and what i want to do is i want to go in with the thesaurion my thesaurion actually move in front of all my team and i know vert is not on will so i'll believe in vert and then we just destroy them without worrying about the Vert Revenge. As you can see right there, turn two player with Molly, usually come on LD Nat 5 and turn one player who doesn't have LD Nat 5 will have to go with the Chiu Chang Pang. If you're in the middle of any of that, which is me or like me, then <laughs> you're not in a very, very good spot. I gotta tell you that. <laughs> All right, he's gonna do that. Oh, wait. Oh shit, I speed to my, my guy a little bit different, but it's okay. We can take that. I, I I can give him the turn, doesn't really make a difference. So let's see what you want to do. I need to I need to oblivion a lot of things. I want to oblivion. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go for the verd here first. Because I smell the revenge. And Nyx is not something that's gonna work all the time. See? The revenge come out, but we're gonna use this opportunity to stun. Hopefully stun everybody. Okay, we still get a stun and the vert is actually gone. I'm gonna use the chance to kill the Molly because Molly is the only sustain left and that should go away. And we should be good here. Don't want to do too much damage on the... Oh my, I did too much damage on the Leo. I hope I would not do that, but we did. Oh, he chose to hit a fire unit and risk the glancing and he's gone. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Nyx sometimes is very scary, but sometimes, not all the time. Because you can never know whether he works for you or not. You just have to hope that he works for you. I'm not sure what kind of video this is going to be. This is more like some real talk RTA, and I'm not sure if you enjoy that. But these are just some thoughts that I have in my head. So I don't have to go with the usual team of the time. Let me switch it up a little bit. 
by doing this. I ban my Okeanos. I have my Vanessa protection. I have my Anvil to cleanse. So I think I should be okay here. Okay, slow team. Slow team for Sean B. Ouch. Oh my god, he get everybody. How come people are so lucky, man? Oh, never mind. We can also get a little bit lucky for ourselves. And now he is mad indeed. Wow, such a hard life, right? I bet he has a hard life doing RTA. Let me just do this. Get speed buff for the team. And also, what do I want to do here? Defense break. I really want to just destroy this thing. Boom. Clap. Get some attack bar as well. And we're going to try to slow them down a little bit. Get the slow debuff. Good. Sleep. Oh, no sleep, but finished. Okay. Oh my God, the Juno is not dead yet, but hopefully we get a turn here. Okay, we've got some water units, so we're definitely getting a turn. I want to use this Chan to use this onto the Rika here. So good damage, get some attack bar as well. Ooh, nice Violent, we're going to do some more damage. I hope I pop the Rika. Oh, we popped the most useless unit. So we're going to get a turn here, but not too much. We're going to try to finish off the Ciara. And we should be good to go. So this guy problem was, it's not really well tuned. The other people who run Chang Peng, Gany, and sort of AOE control unit, they move right after the Chiu. But this guy Chiu move, and nothing moved right after. So he got good unit, but he didn't plan well. I'll at least put some sort of a Tyrone or something to move right after the Chiu because Chiu is a very strong unit. But a lot of people forget that you need to move right after the Chiwu. Wait, that is a Light Demon, but that doesn't look like a Lucian Cleave. Hmm. Alright, so I banned my Daphnis. This is a very awkward spot because I thought I was going for some very fast team, but apparently he's going slow. I could have gone with my normal team and destroy him. But now it's going to be a little bit more confusing. So the Demon's going to move, which allow the rest of the team to move. He should try to one-shot my... God damn, everything is moving. He's trying to kill my Triana, which I think he will. This the bay is going to hurt really bad. Okay. Oh, Triana used her life to save Okeanos, and that is what's going to matter the most. Triana go down, but it won't be for nothing. So now I have defense break and slow debuff. This, I will gladly throw it on the Molon and take it out of the way. And we get a Violent prompt to do it on the Debay. We have Stun as well ready. And this should stop them from moving for a while. Unless the Harmonia want a Violent prompt. Is it going to hurt? It does hurt a lot. Oh my goodness. We're going to try to reset Harmonia skill in case of Violent prompt. I'm going to finish off the Bay. And I need to... Oh my goodness. I have to finish this one. Oh no. Oh no. Unless I violent proc. <laughs> oh, sick team and unit. Interesting stuff. Good stuff, man. I like that. So that's it for some RTA today. I will continue to do this and further improve the team to see what I can add in and what I can use to counter the meta. But pretty much just Vert, honestly. A lot of people ask for triple revenge Vert nerf, but for people like me, this is realistically the only way for me to counter the double speed lead, double stripper meta, because what else can I do to gain turn when I can't outspeed you and you have all the better unit? This is pretty much the only way. And this unit is only scary when you have other force band unit like Ragdoll or LD Nat 5, but for plebeians like you and me who only have Vert to counter those people, they can ban it and they win. <laughs> and sometimes Triple Revenge Vert doesn't feel like Triple Revenge because it doesn't revenge. But anyway, that's it for some RTA heart to heart talk. I don't know what to call this, but I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you liked it. If you did, smash like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.